Welcome Cancer, this is the first three months of the year 2020. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful likes, shares and support. I see that it is a month or a quarter of a magnicity, okay? Now, um, this, is, this is and it can be, um, you are you know pulling people to you so if you have a business um you could be magnetizing people towards you um whatever is happening and transpiring um i see that a cancer man as a pisces man is going to be overcoming some sort of a horrible play of a taurus Virgo or capricorn so i see that you cancers have a um, work against the Pisces man and created some issues for the Pisces man um, in a company, either for the Pisces man company or for um, for um, a partnership. And um, you cancers, you're going to be realizing that whoever the Pisces man is, the Ace of Wands, is going to be going within and is going to be finding out that you are the one that did it. And I see that this man is going to be really working in a positive way in order to resolve the situation. I see no offer is going to be coming in for a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn man. A lot of you cancers who have collaborated with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn man is no new offer is going to be coming in. It's as if um, whoever this man is and whatever he has done, they're realizing that this man has played a huge part in a criminal, um, a criminal organization. Um, and they're going to be finding out uh, the collaboration between a Taurus Virgo Capricorn man and uh, Aries Lee or Sagittarius. They're going to be really realizing the play of three um, persons who is in the management team and what these people have done. And I see you're going to be victoriously overcoming some a sort of a situation. I see some of you are going to decide to leave a company behind. Um, so let's go and check out what is coming in. So what we're seeing that is transpiring and is happening in the month of January is a uh, some of you in the month of January was waiting for some sort of a news. I see that um, um, you could be hoping um, for some sort of a reference or open. You're hoping to some sort of a new um, management team to get on the management team. However, this is coming up and transpiring. I, I see that uh, some of you are on the management team, but is realizing, um, mm, um wow up here um it's it gets even more corrupted and more um more um uh it is even more corrupt than i thought so there's more politics um it's as if some of you started some sort of a management um company or gets in management or it's dealing with people in some sort of a management form and you find out how really, really de deceptive these people are. Um, whoever this Pisces man is, a lot of you are dealing with a Pisces man. And this Pisces man, um, you know, realize that a lot of you, uh, you know, is going to be moving on. I, 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 the Pisces man is thinking about moving on and it's okay. Um, you know, some of you are hoping for, um, you know, that he would have stayed on, but no, let it, let him go, let him go. Um, you know, this person is not, uh, um, it's as if it's your partner and you decide and <clears throat> you realize that, you know, he's keeping his, op his options open. I would say, let him go, let it go, let him go. Um, a lot of you are going to be finding out that uh, some sort of an offer um, is going to be open up for a lot of you. So if you're looking for a job, February is going to be the month uh, 
go for it or the second month is going to be the month whenever you pick up this video because um these are timeless readings so whenever you pick up this video um the second month is going to be the month uh, um i see that you realize that new horizons there are much better new horizons that is coming up yes it's true um take it move along and go for it okay um then you're dealing with um you men are going to be overcoming a situation where a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn have placed you in. So, um, you Cancer men, you're going to be getting out of some sort of a um, partnership with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn man because I see now you're realizing that whoever this person is has created some sort of an illusion in order to corner you and trap you in some sort of a business commitment and you're finally going to be releasing yourself um as you get to the the end of this three months period you're going to be releasing yourself and I see that a Taurus Virgo Capricorn person is going to be offering you some sort of a new uh, work or and you're going to be um, really thinking about it. And I see you're thinking about it, um, but it's as if, no, I, I, I'm not feeling it. I just feel like you are not honest. So I see um, a lot of you who have a Pisces uh, boss, they could be leaving or they're thinking about leaving. They're thinking about uh, um, new horizon. Let this person go. You don't need this person. Um, and that's how they are. Um, so let it go. Uh, you will be better off um, letting this person go. Um, so if you're in any kind of contract or any kind of uh, connection, let this person go because um, it is going to be better for your business, for your company, um, for your partnership. It is going to be good. So just let this person go. Don't don't hold anyone and block anyone from moving forward. This person wants to move forward. Let it go. Let them figure it out for themselves. But um, I see this person is going to go and it's not going to work it out. And they're going to be trying to come back. And you're going to say, this time is really no. Okay. So it could have been um, a lot of times that um, this person, whoever this person is, had basically created some sort of uh, illusional situation around some of you or it could be some of you men especially some of you men uh, are going to be realizing that a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn man has hold you in some sort of an illusional it's as if this person you know hold you in some sort of an illusion for a very long time and I see that you you know whoever this person is is going to be going within and it's going to be resolving um, a situation where they're going to be finding a way to get out and it is going to be good. Just let this person go. Um, you know, you can just like to hold on on people, but if a person decide they want to leave a company, leave a job, leave a, um, um, a partnership, it is good to let them go. A lot of you were holding on to this person or holding on to this job or holding on for this contract for a very long time. And I see now it's time for you to let go because uh, it's as if you're blocking your own self uh, to create wealth and stability for yourself. It's as if you're blocking your own self. So however this is happening and transpiring, let it go because I see this person is going to be um, leaving and then it, it, it gets even worse for them and they're going to be making a comeback. And I think that this is the time you're going to say, you know, um, you know, I gave you enough time to think about it. You make the choice uh, and let's live with the choices that you make. Because I see a lot of you men is also going to be making some sort of a choices. Um, a lot of you men have received an offer, but you're not sure whether or not you should take this offer. And I see go for this offer because you want, you have been open for this new start you've been opening for new opening new transition yeah go for it go for it go for it go for it okay so a lot of you are going to be finding out that your business partner or your boss or 
you know, someone at work, you have been always saying, you know, don't leave. Um, yeah, this person is ready. Let this person go. It is much better. Let this person go. Don't hold on to anyone. I always tell people, um, you know, let it go. A lot of you are going to be moving forward. A lot of you, um, cancer man, are thinking to move forward. A lot of you, cancer man, realize that your partner or the partnership that you have in a business situation is not working out anymore. And I see that, um, you know, um, you're going to be taking the eye of road in order to um, create a much better stability for you. So I see a lot of you um, in the second week, in the second month is thinking of new horizons. And maybe it is better for some of you to find some better new horizon because it's as if you went back to work and you're realizing, mm, oh boy, all these years and I see a new door of opportunity is going to be opening for you. Take it and run with it and go with it. You men, it is time to let go of this contract or this relationship or whatever is happening because um, this is not healthy. It hasn't been healthy for a very long time. Release yourself of this position and open up yourself for a new position that is going to be coming up and you're going to be moving forward in such a powerful way. A lot of you are going to be creating new um, methods of uh, training, that sort of a thing. I see that is going to be happening for a lot of you. I am going to um, look at this um, deeper. So if you'd like to see the extended of this reading, please connect with me. If not, I am going to say namaste until next time.